All right, so I had some questions about how to get the rotate face to build plate feature to work in Kira 4.3. And the first thing I wanted to point out is that if you kept your old version, okay, so I go up here, I type in Kira, and it shows me if my computer would keep up. And it shows me 4.21 and 4.30. So um, I have these. Set to open in default with Kira. Um, but this is the same Kira that I've been using. Okay, so I, now I need to go down and switch to the other version, which is 4.3. Okay, um, so if I hadn't have done that and I just clicked on one of these, it would open up 4.2.1 because that's what it was set to. Uh, but now when I click on one, let's find one with some different faces here. Let's do the hex box. Oh, that's G code. We need an STL. All right, let's do this one. It's got plenty of faces and facets, so we can you can see easily when I snap that and do rotate to build plate. Um, it is going to take a second for Kira to load up here, so I'm going to stop the recording. Just a quick note: you can also see that here, since I changed this to 4.3, the type now says stereo lithography mesh. It doesn't say STL. If I go in here. Changes to 4.21, you can see the type changes to model. So, uh, in order to ensure that you are using the right Kira, um, if you are using 4.3, it should say stereolithography mesh on the side over here. All right, and here you can see the interface for 4.3. It did open my giant crystal LED. If you need to double check that you're in the right version, uh, go ahead and go to help and about. Now, at this point, I haven't really found any major bugs with 4.3, it seems to be working really well. So um, if you're just installing 4.3, feel free to remove 4.2.1. Uh, it just kind of, it's just going to confuse you in the long run. So go ahead and close this because as you can see, we are in 4.3. Now when I select my model and go to rotate, you see reset, lay flat, uh, and then this other guy here, select face. So what you need to do is depress this and make sure it's selected. And then you can basically go around and click on any face you want. Um, and as long as I don't click outside the object, I still have the object picked, I can go in and just click several faces, and it'll just keep rotating it until I have it where I want. So that's pretty much how you run that. Um, I did have a gentleman tell me that he couldn't get his tree supports to work without turning on regular supports, so I'm going to check real quick. I'm going to slice. There it goes. It looks like it's sliced. And it did do my trees, so I don't know. Let me make sure that I don't have support checked. Yep, I don't have generate support on. So it is working with the tree support like it should without having regular support on, so that's good. Uh, that is a pretty nifty trick. Uh, while we're in here, we had discussed a different way to uh, go in and change the extension. It was also pointed out to me that you can easily just go right here and name it whatever you want. And that's pretty simple. Um, the other nice thing, uh, and this was from 4.2, is the orthographic views that you can pop into pretty easily. So, um, yeah, just a couple tips and tricks. Uh, for those of you that were wondering how to rotate the model to the build plate, that's where it's at. It's hiding in the rotate menu. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.